Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. Hey Capricorn, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome to my returning Cappies. Welcome back, my loves. So Capricorn, this is gonna be you guys' August slash September reading. Okay, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I know that today is August the 21st, but baby, I'm here, okay? Your girl has been going through some things, okay? I'm still healing. The hand is still healing, okay, Capricorn? If you don't know the story, go go back and watch my live stream from last week, okay? We, we've been through some trauma. This hand right here has been through some trauma and it looks great considering what it's been through, all right? So without further ado, darlings, let's get into you guys' reading for August slash September, shall we? Okay, if it resonates Capricorn, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, please don't forget to turn on your post notifications on the top right corner and drop your comment down below in the comment section. All right. Also, Capricorn, please do keep in mind that this re this reading may not resonate with every single Capricorn. So please check the other placements in your natal chart, such as your moon, rising, or Venus signs. Okay, so. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? We got the moon. Some of you guys, Capricorn, may be dealing with somebody who's very sneaky. Someone who doesn't like to put all their cards on the table because they really don't want you to see certain things about their true character. Dig a little deep, Capricorn. Dig a little deep. Do a little do, 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 do a little digging, Capricorn. Do a little investigative research. We also have justice. You guys are getting major arcanas. Major arcanas. You have the moon. You have justice. Let's see what else. We have the queen of swords. <laughs> you guys may be in queen of swords mode for the rest of August going into September Capricorn. You guys are really like standing in your truth. You guys are speaking your truth. Capricorn, you're letting people know what needs to be said. You're saying what needs to be said, even when nobody else is willing to say it. You are that person, Capricorn. We know. Um, I feel like I'm hearing 21 questions by 50 Cent. Like, you guys want to know. Like, you guys want to know. You want to know. What is it that this person is hiding from you? Um, you feel like, some of you guys could feel like there's a situation that's unfair, that's unjust. Spirit wants to remind you that justice will be served. Also, you guys may be closing out karmic cycles this month. Going to September, there may be a cycle of dealing with, um, there may be a cycle for you guys that you guys have ended where things were unfair. And it could be a workplace situation. It could be with followers. It could be social media accounts. If you're an entrepreneur, it could be with your business. It could be several different things. But that's what I'm seeing here in the cards. Like justice is about fairness, equality, but in the reverse, it can be dishonesty. It can be something that's unfair as well. The moon, whatever has been done in the dark will be brought to the light. Justice will be served. And I feel like you guys may be calling people out between now and September, um, which I feel like you guys have been doing all of August, calling people out. Going into September, you're still carrying that energy. <laughs> Capricorn, y'all are calling people out on their BS and I love it. All right, you guys, let's continue. I heard two wrongs don't make a right. And I feel like you guys are really like in that energy where it's like you can see somebody doing some like craziness and it's like you're calling them out. Like, don't say something to me about this if you're not going to say something to so-and-so about this. Don't come to me as a woman when you 
like you knew what you were getting yourself into like those types of situations Okay, Capricorn. So what I'm seeing here, we have the Page of Wands. The pages are new. They're new energy. So we have a fresh start here. We have um, full of enthusiasm, flirtatious conversation. Some of you guys are single and ready to mingle. With the Two of Cups, you guys are looking for that connection. That's going to be solid. You guys are an earth sign. You guys are looking for a support system, firm foundation. You guys want to build something solid. And with the Hierophant, you guys may even be looking for marriage, commitment for some of you guys. Um, I also feel like with the hierophant when it in regards to love or new love we have the ace of cups next to the nine of wands you guys are in pursuit of somebody that also gives you the the um the chemistry the passion that you guys need in the bedroom um sexually intimately you're looking for somebody who's going to be on that level but also who has emotional depth as as well like somebody who's emotionally available like um, it's almost like you guys feel like you have to pick a struggle <laughs> Capricorn in regards to love and you low-key do Capricorn because you guys have such high expectations being an earth sign you guys are very much kind of like Taurus low-key um, you guys are very picky and the thing is no like no person like no love situation really high key is ever going to be perfect they're just not babes they're not um, there's going to be something about this person that you're not going to like at some point. So you, you, you definitely want to, um, figure out what do you value? Cause the Hierophant is major arcana here. The moon, major arcana, justice, major arcana, what matters to you? Also, there may be some shadow work that still needs to be done on your part, Capricorn. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. What are you still holding on to? Cause justice is about clearing out karmic cycles. Are there karmic debts that you still need to pay? Okay, I'm just saying, are there lessons that you still have yet to learn? So that could be why, you know what I'm saying? You have, um, you have been running into people who are not meeting your expectations because there are certain lessons that still need to be learned in this lifetime. Okay, let's continue. We're going to keep this short and sweet.
All right, Capricorn. So to finish this reading off, Oracle from my, um, hang on, Twin Flame Union Oracle over at Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. I will uh, list the, the decks down in the description. But we have a love offer coming in for you guys. We have Invitation of Love, New Love, Rekindle of an Old Flame. So for some of you guys, this could be a new person coming in towards you. Or for some of you guys, this could be a past person coming back around to see <laughs> if this cycle is you know if it's over if it's finally over we have control hard on strings manipulation swaying emotions some of you guys some of you guys want to control your person capricorn it just is what it is spirit is calling y'all out um and we have key to opportunities new beginnings directions and adventures third party someone or something else a wedge between your connection and then we have who are you lost your individuality or sense of self some of you guys um spirit is saying like if you if you don't know who you are and what it is you stand for you know that saying if you don't believe in something you'll fall for anything you have to be very clear on your standards capricorn and what you want in regards to a connection a healthy loving connection right are you only looking for a good time or are you looking for true love are you looking for marriage and commitment or are you looking for a good time you know what i'm saying spirit says you got to get serious about it um third party some of you guys are dealing with people who have multiple options or you could be the third party just so you know um but you will have an opportunity to have a new love offer come in but keep in mind you cannot control someone else don't try to change who you are to try to manipulate someone else's emotions for you to try to get them to see your worth to try to get them to love you to reach out to you to be consistent if they're not doing it on their own baby they're not finna start doing it okay leave them where they're at is what spirit said leave them if they rather go over there right with a third party leave them over there if something else has gotten their eye and caught their attention let them go over there they can have that right what we're not going to do is go on this merry-go-round round and round and round because what goes around comes around rest assured karma is real and it always comes back to bite so that's when you guys it's collective august slash september reading Feel free to book a full in-depth personal love reading on my website, AquarianEmpressTarot.net. I will list it down in the description below. Um, also, you guys, love readings are 50% off for this month only. September 1st, it will be back at original price, $75. Currently, 50% off at $37.50. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at AquarianEmpressTarot at gmail.com. Or you can comment on this reading. Until next time, love you guys. Peace out.